In today's DIY action camera mount video, we're gonna be building this really cool low profile side mount for your GoPro or action camera. The parts we're gonna need for this mount are really straightforward. First, we're gonna need a short quarter by 20 inch bolt. I bought a half inch bolt and then cut it down to the quarter inch length I needed in order to build this mount. Then we need a corner bracket or an L bracket, and then we're gonna need some small bolts as well as a tap for those bolts. And that's what's actually gonna mount the L bracket on to the side of the helmet. We're also going to need a GoPro camera mount in order to mount our camera onto this rig. The holes on the L bracket that I found were not big enough to allow the quarter by 20 inch bolt I was using to pass through. So I got a quarter inch drill bit and first drilled out one of the outside holes so that I could mount the tripod mount onto the L bracket and then through my GoPro camera. I then held this up against the side of my helmet to see whereabouts I'd like this bracket to be. Once I was happy with the placement, I marked two holes using a Sharpie through the holes that I would actually be mounting onto the helmet and then removed the bracket. I took a drill and drilled the corresponding hole size which we needed for tapping into the helmet. I got my tap, tapped those holes, and then got some really short bolts and bolted on the bracket after having removed all of the GoPro hardware and tripod mounts. So I got access to those bolt holes. Now the reason that it's important for you to use a short bolt in this step is that you want to make sure that those bolts don't stick out beyond the shell of the helmet that you're using because these helmets have this about inch or half inch of foam inside them and that's what that's the crumple zone. That's what if you crash using a helmet that's where your head's going to crush before it hits whatever you hit. And what you don't want is to crush into that crumple zone and then hit a screw head or a sharp screw. So you want to make sure that you're leaving the inside of the shell flush so there's nothing to damage your skull in case of a crash. So don't use big long screws. Try and find some flat bolts that are about the same thickness as the shell. Again, it could be tricky to do, but once you find the right ones, you'll be much better off and a lot safer. With the bracket mounted, all that's left is to throw the GoPro tripod back on and mount the camera. With that, our mount is complete and it's a pretty cool low profile side mount for your GoPro camera. Now, of course, you could do this using a standard curved adhesive mount and two extension bars to create the side mount angle and that would work just fine. You could do that totally. You could mount a bigger GoPro case on it then and it would be great. This is more of an experiment in the ways of DIY getting this solution and maybe a little bit more permanent or more secure and a lot lighter and a lot, lot lower profile. This camera is much closer to the helmet than it would be using the other solutions and it's the entire mount is a lot less bulky. This mount does have some drawbacks. You are actually drilling holes through the shell of a helmet, which is something that I'm not gonna be keen on doing if I just spent $230 on a brand new ski helmet. If you've got an old one kicking around, or maybe you've got uh, some kind of old helmet that you use only for shooting video, then maybe you do wanna add some permanent brackets onto it. It's not easy to remove. To remove it, you do have to take out the bolts and completely remove the mount and then put it back on. And because you're screwing into tap plastic, there's going to be a limited number of times you can mount and unmount this thing. But as a concept, this is pretty cool. And I see it going further than that because this L bracket idea you could use in many different situations. You, you could use it to mount to say a permanent L bracket on the side of a skateboard. You could use it to mount to motorbikes or quads or mountain bikes. If you took this L bracket and you used a hose clamp, you could hose clamp it on to the back of bike tubes. You can get a cool angle looking forward. There's a lot of different possibilities where you could use these little L brackets like this. I might explore some of them in future DIY videos. If you have some places you'd like to see these L brackets used, you can leave them down in the comments below. I'd love to check them out. They're a really cool, light, cheap way of mounting your GoPro camera at different angles. If you guys have ideas for future DIY projects, leave them down below. I'd love to check them out. But most of all, if you make a DIY mount for any camera, send it to me over on Facebook. I wanna share it with the community and get more people inspired and building custom mounts for their cameras. It's a lot of fun to do. It's cheap and it's easy. And you actually get more excited about using your camera because now you've got these useful mounts built to suit your shooting situations, which you built. So it gets you out shooting more and it gets more people excited about making things. Everything's good. So if you've got mounts you built, send me photos of them. I'd love to share them. 
Most of all, guys, though, get subscribed. And until next time, thank you very, very much for watching.